that was a bit of a loss to one of the tournament favorites. Yeah, that was a that's pretty big. I so I don't like Helios. Why am I wrong? Like convince me that this is a, <laughs> convince me that this is a really good ship. Like uh, with the new drone damage modifier that was added in this most recent patch, uh, they can because they're shield ships they can just rack out their mids with resist modules and uh, extenders, and because of their innate. Uh, five percent, but resistance bonus per level. They end up coming out like with insanely high resist. Plus the resist from the boost tangu make them just out of control high resist. And then they can fill their lows with the damage control and drone damage modifiers. So they end up coming out to be like some seriously high DPS from their drones, and then really high EHP. And with a logistics uh, ship, you can rep so much more with that uh, resist so high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Um the ASB on the Tengu is really threw, mm -hmm. threw a wrench in their plan here. Um, they took out that Basilisk, uh, not well, pretty easily, but uh, those ASBs just kept those Tengus up because Tengus had higher resistances, but the, the Helos on our side didn't look like they were running uh, ASBs on them. They didn't, ha they didn't have that secondary line of defense once that Bas Basilisk dropped. So they do get a resistance bonuses, so I'm guessing that we thought that the just stacking the resistances and then depending on the logistics, we would keep would be able to keep it safe. Um, they took out our frigates first. They weren't able to uh, lock down the uh, Tengus that we were going after, and mm. uh, I think that's really what cost us the yeah. match. A big problem with that setup is healers are do a lot of damage and have a big tank, uh, and they can engage in a lot of ranges. Uh, Tengus also do a lot of damage when they have hands mm. and have a big tank and can get right up on you and dunk on you, and I think they just got right up on them and dunk on them. So one of the things that we were talking about here was uh, ASBs, and we are talking about number of charges and reload times. Uh, could, could you guys just, just explain kind of how that dynamic worked in this match? Yeah, as you saw Laconis, um, he, he was able to keep himself repped up. Um, and I think at the end he was actually just playing with him, let him get really low and then boosting back up. Um, I think uh, a lot of the, the ASBs I've used so far have had about eight charges in the uh, load. So once it goes to those eight charges, it either has to reload or run off the capacitor. So uh, I want to think that Orconis switched to a capacitor after instead of uh, uh, vying to reload. So um, it's definitely a strong module. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to be this strong in this match. Yeah. Uh, but it would definitely turn the tide here. So, so are you playing for someone to run out of modules? You're basically saying this guy uh, can tank us, but once his his charges run out, uh, mm -hmm. we're just going to keep firing until that happens. Well. When, at one point, I am, I obviously don't have psychic powers that are that strong to know what the goon team was trying to do, but they sort of did some damage to the Basilix, got its uh, ASB running for a little bit, and then switched off for just a small amount of time just to kill a frigate, and then switched back. And I think they were hoping to bluff that Basilisk into reloading early mm. on his ASB, which is actually a great move mm. if they do for it, do it, but luckily the Basilisk pilot was a, a little bit mm. more aware than... He should have been yeah. to have Ginswin. But um, <laughs> so he was able to uh, yeah. just wait out his whole charge. Um, I think that ASPs are really good when you're evenly matched. Mm -hmm. When you're pretty tight on resistance, pretty similar damage, having that ASP just gives you that little edge. I don't know if they're good all the time in, if they're very different sort of setups, but in that sort of team, I like them a lot. Yeah, I think the Ham Tingus are going to be really strong this tournament, and I expect us to see a lot more of them. Mm. Um, Last year we saw, I think PL brought one, didn't get dunked on by Darkseid. Uh, but th with the rule changing from three to four, mm -hmm. they can field those four ham tingus. Uh, they have big tank, a lot of DPS. I think they have up to upwards like 600, 60, 650 DPS. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, they definitely completely viable. Yeah, and it was super close. Yeah. And, I mean, it looked like the ASPs were definitely uh, kind of the deciding factor. Are you also hoping to catch them in the middle of the reload time? Yeah, no, that's when you, yeah. that's mm -hmm. when you move to kill them. Yeah. And also, uh, the materials that we saw in the qualifiers that were, du were dual tanked, part of the current theory is people are not really sure if they want to have also an armor tank so that you try and have enough buffer to barely yeah. survive the reload and then move back up yeah. into your shields. Yeah. So it's sort of, can you live through that reload? Yeah. When is that reload going to happen? Can you force somebody into the reload before they sort of pull range and escape your damage? That sort of thing. All right, let's just quickly take a look at the schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of the day, we, of course, have... Uh, something like nine matches uh, to come, I think. Uh, Virgil Collapse versus Capital Punishment. That's the last two teams of what I assume is Group D. Uh, one of these teams will be joining Fearless uh, in the top slots. Um, and then, of course, we have a short break, 
and then eight more matches uh, of the day. So that's our schedule for tonight. You have a few more hours of spaceships coming up. We hope you've enjoyed it. First, really close match as well. Mm -hmm. but do you guys have any more questions about uh, the new API, by the way? How, when you say, we all know the way, sort of the way API currently works with EVE Online on Train Clothing. How do you think that Dust, they will be uh, used in Dust 514? Do you think we're going to see like kill mails where I just have in one match like an entire kill board of all the people I've shot in the face? Or like how do you envision third party apps integrating with Dust 514? I hope that we get the <coughs> Everybody that I killed in that match kill mail thing, uh, that, that would make me very happy. Um, ultimately, I really want to integrate more. I want more third party apps. I want more information to flow uh, inwards and, and outwards, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. To me, that's, that's really important. We have some awesome third party developers um, working with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just want to give them more tools mm -hmm. uh, for them to do what they do best and they love doing. If somebody wanted to get into making third party apps, what would you say is the best way for them to start doing that and get involved and put in their ideas and sort of make a product that everybody likes? Honestly, I'd say join the IRC channel on Coldfront is mm -hmm. definitely the place to, to, to go and ask questions. There's a great community there. Uh, that's very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, there's loads of wiki pages and, and guides and stuff and libraries that have already been written. So okay. I'd say jump on IRC and come and meet us. I hang up. I'm, I'm there from time to time. So Good cool. yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, do the last match before the short break. Um, Virtual Collapse versus Capital Punishment. Uh, what do you guys say? I definitely think uh, Virtual Collapse is going to win, but then again, every time I've said definitely they're going to win, yeah. uh, they've lost. So, uh, but I, Triumph, they are old pilots from Triumph Mark One, um, War, War God, and I think Darkness and a few others. But they, uh, I definitely think they're a strong team again. I like Virtual Collapse. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the family in Virtual Collapse as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going with Virtual Collapse as well. Oh. Let's see if we jinx this one or <laughs> it actually works out. <laughs>